What's going on guys? On today's video, we're gonna be working on the front grill. So I got this thing disassembled, got the center pieces out, just need to take the emblem out. And what I'm planning on doing with this thing is, um, I wanted to paint it body color. Now, this being chrome, it's really hard to paint chrome anything. So what people usually do is they find one of these grills um, in body color and then they spray them in body color so there's no chrome. I unfortunately don't have that opportunity because nothing is available and these things are like almost 900 bucks from the dealer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely disassemble it, take the front badge out and <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks that you can do to actually paint this so it doesn't chip, doesn't, um, doesn't come off later on. So. Enjoy the video. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I got the front badge removed, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 80 grid sandpaper, 80, 100 grid, anything to scuff this up. Um, scuff it up, get it, uh, get as much crud off of it as possible, um, and get rid of all that chrome so it becomes kind of like a matte, matte color. So, and then after that, we're gonna take some epoxy primer and spray this down with epoxy primer. So as you can see, the chrome is kind of going away and it's becoming very like a matte color. Um, that's what you want to see. What you want to avoid is places like this. You see where there's like still shiny chrome? You want that completely scuffed. And you'll always get one of these or some somewhere where you overlook. That's why it's good to wipe these down and then go over the areas. Because if you don't take care of these edges, this is where you're going to have the peeling. You're gonna peel 100% every time. Now, with um, with grills, they because it's plastic underneath, you can sand this down all the way down to bare metal. I mean, bare bare plastic, like I did right here, right here, all the edges and stuff. And it's good that you actually can feather these out. But if you planning to do a bumper in this way, man, good luck. I've tried just about everything. Nothing really works. Sort of just. It's a lot cheaper the long run with the time and you know the effort and the materials you put in to paint a chrome bumper to just order you know from Keystone a aftermarket bumper that's already painted you know in primer so and just go that route but grills I haven't you know I've done this several times and I haven't had any, you know haven't had any issues with them so you know half the grill is already done I did it up to here. I still got to do that side, but yeah, you guys always make sure you get rid of these little, you know, these little chrome spots and they always find themselves right around the edges. So this is, you know, you want it, you want it like this. So yeah, I just got to do the other side now and um, blast it with some primer. So I got this thing pretty much sanded down the way I would want it. And uh, now I'm just gonna take it outside to do some uh, epoxy primer. So let me show you what that stuff looks like. So this is the epoxy primer. It's a two part primer. So it has an activator built inside here on the bottom. So what you do is you take that cap off, stick it on the bottom, slam it down and the two mix. And the thing is with this stuff, man, you want to either spray it outside, spray it in the booth, or make sure you got, you know, good air circulation and always wear a mask because this is epoxy primer. Uh, once this stuff gets in your lungs, it is not coming out unless it's coming out with some lung tissue. So, you know, always keep in mind, you want to keep, you know, a good respirator that will, you know, filter the stuff. Even if you are doing it outside, you do not want to breathe any of this junk in. So, but yeah, once it, uh, you know, this stuff is made to cure to direct metal. Chrome is metal. So there's parts of, you know, parts of metal to it. So once you scuff it down, I always like to do, you know, a top coat and flip the grill upside down and then do one from the back. So that way it kind of like, um, it covers, you know, from all the way around. 
you know, gets 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 nice coverage. So, yeah, and this thing is pretty much ready to go. So we got this thing outside. Now we gotta shake this baby. And start applying. Um, start applying the primer. I'm gonna do a lot of coverage on the edges first because that's the areas you want most coverage on. Most of so you just take the two-part primer out. You take that piece from the bottom. Make sure you shake it really, really well. Got it shaken up. And now we just take this catalyst and press it in. As you can see, we got really nice coverage right around the edges, inside corners, all the way around. Went from the inside, a couple of real nice thick passes. The good stuff about doing this stuff in the sun is it dries almost instantaneously, so you don't have to worry about several coats. So you can do several coats one after the other. It's uh, pretty much 60 degrees today, so it's not too, too bad. all there is now we just got to do the um, the inside of the grill pieces but those I'm probably just gonna paint flat black color so I got the grill pretty much painted it looks really, really nice. nice and thick coat much good to touch so I'll just take a scuff pad scuff it up a little bit and then apply some regular two-part primer etching primer and uh, wet sand it it's good to go for paint um, this isn't one of those part videos or part you know six seven eight whatever the part I'm on already this is just one of those videos to kind of like do a little bit of a how-to so if you like one of these videos still kind of experimenting with this stuff uh, let me know what you like let me know what you think to do more of it it's gonna be a wrap for this small little video guys um it's kind of like a little how-to video um of so many chrome painting videos i've seen none of them actually do it right I'm not saying that i'm the only one that does it right but i've actually tested this stuff and tested it for years on my own trucks my own cars and i wouldn't do this stuff um with like wheels bumpers and so on it, you know this stuff, it's so thin, you can practically take it down to plastic if you really wanted to. But there's no point in doing that. So, um, yeah, so hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, save you a buck or two because, I mean, I already have that grill, so I don't have to buy another one. $20 can of primer, you know, a little bit of prep work and elbow grease, and you'll be good to go. So, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. So, always... Uh, Always fun answering your questions. So enjoy guys. Have a great day.